I think I'm going to get into trouble now. Have you ever heard of secret shoppers? Well, Professor Alderby posed as a patient to test Dr. Decker. It's just a thing that he does. I'm sure he'll come and visit you at some stage, so please play along. What That's very mean? weird. Wait. I'm not trying to hide anything. I just don't know. You can also turn off the... The, uh... If you wanted to, you can turn off the no response videos. What's the... Oh, oh okay. So okay. that, like, every single time we ask something that they don't know about that we wouldn't show, like, a, a new clip. Okay, let's do that. Which I think is no response videos. You can turn it off. Nobody likes chaos, Doctor. We're supposed to be restoring order, don't you think? Why are you so uncomfortable with the couch? Everybody is, haven't you noticed? Like, everybody just, like, bounces up and around the couch. <laughs> uh, these people are all... There's something going on. Is there like a dead body in the couch or something? Um. Uh, does she believe? Everyone has to believe in something, don't they, Doctor? H you. Yeah. Okay, I already asked about that. So this practice is owned by trust. trust. They make all the money and leave me to make all the decisions, which generally means making lots of money. I headhunted Dr. Decker. And you? Ah. So she's in charge of a trust? Yeah. Cool. Well, the ch there is a trust, and the trust left her in charge. She, I don't think, is in charge of the trust. Oh. But that means that there's, like, a special interest outside of this. It's not, like, just a regular medical thing. It could be, possibly, that the trust was made by people who are, like want the specific other people who were affected by the church place. Remember they all went to the same church and they were all at a place where they uncovered cephalopod fossils? Yeah. That maybe, like, they have a special interest. I don't remember Elin or Claire being there. They were there. Why were they there? They're all, they're all gonna be, like, connected to that same place. Okay. Maybe, maybe it's the, like, I don't know, Cthulhu group or something. I've recruited the last five doctors since I've been here. Now I've got a flair for recognizing the extraordinary. Both you and Dr. Decker were extraordinary. Hmm. Why would Alderby need to test Dr. Decker? Test is the wrong word. More like gently guide. Professor Alderby had a lot of good advice to offer the young psychiatrists. He really helps them focus on where the problems are. So maybe he wasn't being like, hey, I'm trying to prove it. Well, maybe he was trying to be like, Listen, this shit is real, and your job is to make them uncover their powers and shit. Mm. To instill chaos, because the more chaos there is, the easier it is for the old gods to come. Mm -hmm. How are Dr. Decker and I extraordinary? How am I extraordinary? Both Cambridge am I spelling graduates, that right? yeah. both top of the class. 
both pliable, obedient slaves to my every whim. Yeah, that last one's more of a hope than a must-have attribute. You brainwashed us, lady. I know you did. <laughs> oh, we got green on Jaya. Yep. Yeah. I think it's, she pronounces it Jaya. I'm so sorry, everybody. Jaya. What bigger things have he stolen? What else have you stolen? From stealing milk. What bigger things have you I stolen? I moved on to petrol. From petrol? Wow. All those supermarkets. Blood? All kinds of electricals. So I've stolen quite a lot of that. I'm not proud. I think I've been doing it because I can. To prove to myself, either way, my extra hour is actually real. You could do, like, not weird shit, but, you know. I know, like, why don't you just, like, catch up on an extra hour of Netflix or something? Or sleep, you know? Yeah. Me, me, well, he needs proof. I don't know. Why don't you fight crime again? What was it? It, did, it was like, did Dr. Decker's coffin contain ashes or other remains? I'm a bit of a professional at this grave-filling business, Doctor. I know a decoy coffin when I handle one. Why does he think D Dr. Decker didn't want to know about his patients anymore? Therapists are supposed to help you. For whatever reason, Dr. Decker had given up the desire to cure my mind and instead wanted to make me more unstable. Go ahead. That goes back to that whole like thing about instilling chaos so that the old gods can come back. If he's actually like telling people things to make them unstable. Mm-hmm. Has he seen people come back from the dead? When you work in a graveyard, you see a lot of strange things. I'm not sure if they're real, or whether I think they're real, or which is worse. I wonder if he's moved or hidden things in his extra hour. Have you moved or hidden things in extra Moving hour? Moving things around and hiding things was amusing at first, when everyone was frozen. Some people would faint when things appeared from midair. Others would cry. Others just thought that it was there all the time and that their mind was playing tricks on them. It got boring fast, though. I can't delete them. I don't know why. I haven't shown them to anyone else. Do you want to see them, Doctor? No! I only want to see them to see if, he's, if it's real. <sighs> Try to think like, yes, I want to see them. If you want to see those photos, you're as sick as I am. So are you gonna show me or not? You're laughing at me, aren't you? I said I wasn't sure if they were real. So he doesn't know if the pictures are real? Are the pictures real? 
<laughs> Would I murder someone in my extra hour? Would you murder someone in your extra hour? Oh, would I? Would, how do I? Would I murder someone? I don't think you would, Doctor. I don't think I would either. So now I kind of understand that person who left a review of this being like, oh, you end up using the hints a lot. Yeah, because I feel like the questions are so specific. And, like, a, some of them are, like, a little convoluted. Yeah, because I wish there was, like, more hints I to my own. which direction you wanted to go in. Occasionally I visit my father. He's in sheltered housing. Dementia. Oh, we're green. Hi, Claire. What is Dr. Decker more animated? I think if I was playing this on my own, mm -hmm. I would be more inclined to want to guess a lot more. But because we're on a Let's Play, I don't want people to get bored. And to have, like, literally, like, 20 wrong guesses. And then we're just sitting here, like... <laughs> well, then what do we do now? Yeah. And, and rebuttals. He seemed genuinely excited. Presumably he had a date. Oh, that was with, uh, yeah, date with who? You seem to be struggling. <laughs> Fuck you. <sighs> Why did the little girl what? need to tough? No, I they're talking about Claire. In possession of an enormous fortune. Lots of people. Oh. Lots of men. So that is an opportunity. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Saw my dash. Um, where are these Some tried men? to seduce me. Some thought I wanted a new daddy. Most of them were the same age as my parents. And yet I'm the one here talking to you. It seems a little suspicious that she was at a friend's house. Do you think I killed my parents? No, I do not. Which friend were you staying with? I don't remember my friend's name. She was a girl from my school. Vicky? Charlotte? It's not really important. Charlotte. Hmm. Uh, she lives on the other side of the lake. She must be new. I haven't seen her there before. Also, I guess I just kind of feel like sometimes large swaths of these things seem... Go ahead. Like, not really relevant. Yeah, I feel like her story did a better job with this kind of interface. But I'm still really interested in the story, so... Well, because with her story, it really was, like, you're looking for keywords. And so, like, but with this, like, I mean, it's expecting you to type in, like, full questions. Yeah. Which is really interesting, but also can be really frustrating if you're not picking up, like, what you're supposed to be asking questions about. Mm -hmm. And granted, going green on people is optional, mm -hmm. but 
Um, yeah. She asked if I think she killed her parents. I should answer yes or no. So no, like, I do not think th you killed. It's okay if you think parents. I killed them. You wouldn't be the first to draw that conclusion. People can be so cynical. I'm used to it. Is that right? Yeah. Were you close to your yes. parents? I love my parents very much. They were very good parents. It was hard letting them go. You miss your parents? Oh my god. Why shoes. are you not wearing any shoes? I take off my shoes when I go to the therapist. Everybody has their shoes off. Yeah. Because I like to put my feet up on the couch. Yes. What do you money. mean by lots of money? Everybody wants it. But what use is it really? Look at me. Am I happy? Am I loved? Am I living? You are loved by David. Hmm. If the key is significant? I'm sure I had a spare key for the lake house, but I can't find it anywhere. Oh. I don't really need one if David is around. Yeah, she said she lost her key and she couldn't find the spare. Yeah. Oh, wait, hold on. We got it all. Yeah. Yay! Sup, girl? You a serial killer? Is she mm -hmm. deceiving her patients? I don't think I'm deceiving my patients when I shift. I'm helping them. Yeah, so if she, it, like, even if she was actually shifting, mm -hmm. if people don't know, like, because presumably these are very elderly people who maybe mm -hmm. don't have all their mental faculties about them, mm -hmm. like, she could be convincing them that she is that other person. And then they're giving them the stuff. Yes. I think that was kind of... Yeah, I said that last night. Uh. But, you know, it's good to reiterate. I thought you were saying that she was helping them move on. No, I'm saying if she's giving, I said last night, if she's giving them, like, they're passing on, maybe they're giving it to her willingly when they think that she's their loved ones. Oh. I'm saying it both things. It was the things. one thing she held on to right until the end. Her most treasured possession. She said she wanted me to have it. You don't argue with a dying person's last wishes. Are you lying about looking for love? <laughs> I ain't a lie. Weird question. I'm really not interested in dating anyone. I just went out with Max as a favor for a friend. Like I said, it wasn't anything. That's serious. not very nice. If you know that you're not interested in somebody, you shouldn't really go, out, go, go out. out with them. 